Hi there. I'm Ryan Gennato, a Strategic Alliance Manager here at Logitech. Today, I'd like to show you a few new features added to Google Meet that work seamlessly with our Logitech meeting room solutions. I'm joined by my colleague, Jonathan Oda, Alliance Marketing Manager, who's going to help with the demonstration. First up is Occupant's account. Thanks, Ryan. In the room here, I have a Logitech room solution for Google Meet, including a Meetup conference camera, a tap touch controller, and a Google Meet compute. This feature will also work on our Rally cameras and our PTZ Pro 2 devices. So whether a call is in session or not, Google uses the Meetup to constantly monitor the number of people in the room. Now let's take a look at the data in Google Admin Console. This report contains all the information collected on room occupancy, so you can run it through your own analysis as needed. Google also provides a dashboard so you can visualize your data. Occupancy count can be used by an IT administrator or facilities planner to see if rooms are over or underutilized, to help with future office space planning and to keep your workspace safe. Another newly added feature supported by Logitech Meetup, Rally Camera, and PTZ Pro 2 is Google's continuous framing. This software ensures all participants are framed properly, whether they're seated, moving about the room, or need to exit or enter mid-meeting. Jonathan, why don't you take a few paces around the conference room to show how the feature works? Of course, Ryan. As I move about the room, note how the camera stays with me. Continuous framing is ensuring that I stay in frame even when I do something like moving to a whiteboard. With this new feature, auto framing is now available across all Logitech room kits for Google Meet, joining the already supported Rally Bar and Rally Bar Mini powered by Logitech's right site AI. Let's move on to the next feature. Google Meet now supports custom screensavers that can be deployed on any room display. Let's see how that looks in Google Admin Console. Now on an organizational unit level, you are able to specify a URL that will be shown on your Google Meet device display. This URL can point to an image, video, slideshow, dashboard, or anything else that you prefer. It is recommended you choose a media source that is not static to avoid screen burn-in. Also note, you can configure the amount of time before showing the screensaver and how many minutes before the next scheduled meeting you'd like to turn it off. As you can see, we've added a custom screensaver to give your Google Meet setup a more personalized touch. Imagine if this is your brand logo or your safety policies or even your building layout. Let's show off one last new feature, which I think you'll find very exciting. Companion mode solves the ever-present issue of microphone feedback and duplicate camera views when joining a room meeting from your laptop in order to share content. With companion mode, you can join an ongoing meeting with your microphone and camera muted by default. From there, you can begin chatting, responding to Q&A and quiz questions, or jump directly into presenting if that's what you'd like to do. Let's cut back to the conference room. Jonathan's on this Google Meet meeting with me, and he's going to share his screen for the remote and in-room participants to see. Thank you, Ryan. As you can see, if I go to g.co forward slash present, I'm able to join in companion mode and I don't have to worry about my webcam or my mic being on when I enter. Using this mode, I can easily select my own screen to share. I can share my slideshow or my website. Or if I'm not joining as a presenter, I could go to g.co forward slash companion and I'd be given the same joining experience. Thanks for watching. For more information about our Logitech room kits, reach out to your Logitech rep or reseller. If you mention our Kickstart program, you may be eligible to try a room kit out for yourself.